hands today and I am tackling this box of goodies that has been sitting in my room for approximately half a year. <laughs> Maybe even longer. It's been some time. Um, I had untangled a few of these things in a different video and set it to music. I might do that. I haven't decided yet. So I guess we'll find out in a minute. Um, and uh, if you see anything you like, leave a comment if you want to buy it. Um, and if there's anything really cool, we'll inspect it a little closer on camera. So far, I mean, if we can show you, there are definitely some goodies to be had in here, down in this bunch. I can see right here some dyed magnesite, which is cool. I like stones. We've got this that almost looks looks a little bright -y to me. This looks a little bright -y too, whatever this is. Oh, no, I can see right here it's Premier Designs. I heard that Premier Designs isn't a thing anymore, but I don't know if that's true. I didn't look it up. Anywho, uh, let's find out. Let's find out. But first, I was undoing this, and actually, this is there's some I set off to the side. That's also kind of part of this mess. So here we go. And like I said, I don't, I don't know. I might just end up fast forwarding this for you all, or putting some music on, or a little bit of both, or I'll just chat to you. For the people that love to hear the sound of my voice, I'll tell you, I was just, we had, we, because you guys were there, we had an awesome jewelry auction the other night. The lovely Raven of Raven's Treasure Chest came in and made a spectacular claim on every necklace that was on my wall and then some. And because of that, I felt like I needed to open more inventory. But, truth be told, playing with all that jewelry really made me, like, crave playing with more jewelry. So, oh, okay. All right, so this is separate. Did this break off? Look how cute. Oh, it's missing a little piece there. A little stone in the middle, probably. Look at these little charms. Oh, look at that little dove. And this flower. Now he's got his little rhinestone in him still. And another rhinestone bead, everything's there. That is just so darling. All right, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Well, let me see first if it broke off his necklace, because that would not surprise me. This thing is a, is a wreck. Look at all this down here. Whee, whee, whatever sound that is. This does look probably like it was all part of the same thing though, right? Maybe. We're not gonna know. We're not gonna know until we detangle. So let's detangle. All right, so we've got this guy loose, and he's just a chain with a little hair on it. Blech. Gross. Hmm. That's a big lobster claw clasp. Looking for stamps. Don't see anything. It feels like pewter. I don't know if they make chains out of pewter. Usually that's reserved for like more substantial pieces. But I'm going to set this aside in case we come across something that goes on it. This is interesting. So I thought this was like a whole mess of tangled chains. Turns out they're tassels. They're actually all individually, best I can tell. 
linked on right under here, right where the, the bail is for this pendant. They're linked on. If you like the pendant, you could always just repurpose this one. Take all these tassels off and even just take this and put it on a chain by itself. Cute little rhinestone studded flower. All the stones are there. Ooh, I lied. There's one missing right there and one there. But they're like the type where it's faceted down into the space, so you can't really tell. If that makes sense. But that is so cute. Okay, so that's that. And then this little grungy looking thing that grosses me out, but hey. <laughs> maybe it's somebody's taste. Or maybe I pull it off because it's gross. That's what I'm going to do. It's gross. I'm pulling it off. Someone might be mad at me right now. I don't care. That's going in the garbage can. Ew. Be gone. Okay, so. Now that's the tassel -y part if you're into tassels. That's that guy. Gosh, that's a lot of tassels. I feel like someone added those on. Maybe they were there the whole time, but I don't believe it. And then this chain is super duper long. Oh no, it goes like this. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is a complicated one. Express. This is from Express. Okay, so it hooks on here. Nice. Now it all makes sense. Good grief, this thing is very tangled, but now it makes sense. Hopefully I can get the whole thing in frame. And don't mind, my, my table is super beat up, so <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. We've got lots of little rhinestones hanging from it. This, I think, would be cute without that pendant. Or maybe just the pendant and without the tassels. I don't think those tassels add anything to this piece. But it's cute, a nice multi-chained piece. Let me see if I can pull up the... <laughs> so, like, what is that? That's really weird. If my camera was up today, I would show you what it looked like on me. But for now, I'm just gonna hang it behind me and pretend the tassels aren't there. Oh. So that's that. What do we have over here? These look a lot like some stones I just recently sold on a different necklace. However, they are acrylic. This, this feels like glass. To test says it's glass. This is another express one. It certainly looks like the same style, doesn't it? You can tell this person's style. That's one thing I really actually kind of enjoy about opening like lots of jewelry is that you can like get a sense of the person's taste. It's kind of funny. That's not always the case, because sometimes, you know, the stuff doesn't come from the same source, but sometimes it does. I think this one, if I remember correctly, this one came from the same source, but maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong, because that means there's probably nothing good in here. And by good, I mean, ooh, look at that one. You know, like gold or silver. Maybe I'll get lucky, but I doubt it. But it'll still be cool to try. All right, no tag on this one. But another multi-chain one in this like antique gold kind of color. Another long one. Look how long that thing is. How many chains we have here? Three. And then again, these beads, which are all glass except for these ones are acrylic. This guy's got like notches in it. That's kind of strange. I don't know why. Maybe they're trying to make it look more like a real stone. It doesn't look like damage, it looks intentional, so. But they look, they they really do look like stone. They look just like these stones of this necklace that I just sold. Anyway, this one's a little tangled. Oh no, it's not. Oh yes it is. Oh no, now it's not. <laughs> Alright, so there we go, that one's going up behind me. Let's see what else we got. Alright, it's starting to look full behind me again so far, that's good. Well, that's unusual. This just feels like plastic, but this looks like metal. There's holes drilled in either side, so I presume this was actually maybe supposed to be linked together. I think it's another multi-chain one. These things are all eating each other, so in the box. Oh, this guy. Oh, dang it. I got I got him free, and then I just wrapped him right back up. This, I don't know what this is. It looks like like imitation bone 
and the chain is broken. So this one will go into a craft lot. Oh no, the chain's not broken. It's still gonna go into a craft lot though. I don't think this is anything special enough to be sold on its own. And probably, well, I don't know, this is unusual for sure. Okay, it's another multi-chain beast of a necklace. Oh, and something fell out of it, that's cool. It's really lightweight. It is, it does appear to be a metal of some sort, but it is a very lightweight metal. It's probably good, because good grief, if this was heavier, that would be some kind of weight on your neck. Look at all those chains, that's fun. This is like a country rock star. That's what I see here. No clasp, you just have this black ribbon necklace piece up here. Looks to be in decent enough condition. These like remind me of like the body of a guitar. I think that's why I'm thinking country rock. All right, there goes that one. All right, okay, that was that stack. Oh no, I lied, then we've got this. And now this is most likely pewter. And then these feel like acrylic, but they have like a weird texture to them. Like they're a matte finish acrylic. So I don't, I don't know what to make of those. And then this guy, I think he's supposed to go down there. And this is like a leather, a faux leather cord that's got silver uh, coating on it, I guess. I don't know. It's not my taste, but it might be one of your tastes. So there you go. All right. So then this thing that fell out is probably just another chain. Yep. Sure is. We'll set that one aside too. These guys are just still hanging out until I figure out what to do with them. That would be such a fun little charm. I don't know, maybe I'll find some way to put it on my tree. Okay, here we go, here's the next batch of things. Okay, so this guy, oh, he's almost loose. Almost, this is the Premier Designs one. That reminded me of Brighton, but it's not. Shepherd's hook clasp. That is big and beautiful. There's your Premier Designs logo back there. Or I guess it goes that way, sorry. And it's on a leather cord. There's a little wear to the leather cord, but it's not that bad. A little bit of metal tone wear up at the top. But all in all, that's a cute little statement necklace. I like that one. Okay, I really want to dig into this howlite. How can I free it? Oh gosh, you guys, it just comes out in one massive, massive chunk. And look at this. Did I open this already? I don't know if I opened this and threw rejects back in there or what. I don't know what that bag is. And then I've got these too. Looks like some single earrings. Oh, look at the owl. Oh, you want a hook? You are. Look at him. I gotta put him on my tree. We've got a... Oh, Richelieu earring, but there's only one. So we'll see if we find the other one. I guess that's what that was. Trying to find mates. And a cute little notebook with a pen. <laughs> if anyone's interested in that. It's a cute little gift set. Made in India, you can tell. It's very Indian influence with all these colors and details. Anywho, that's just a notebook. I don't know why that's in there, but I'll take it. Okay, so this guy is easy to get out. It's a little neck cuff with these little crossover designs. Let's see, are all the rhinestones there? Yes, yes they are. That's good. Little X's kind of remind me of hugs and kisses. All right, I'm going to admit it right now to everybody in the world. I don't know which is the hug and which is the kisses. I'm assuming the X is the hug and the O is the kisses. But I feel like that's wrong. Like, I feel like I'm backwards on that. So you guys tell me. Tell me in the comments which is which. <sighs> and then laugh at my stupidity. All right, these are cool. I feel like I sold something similar to this. Like a bracelet or something. I don't know where to start. This is a tangled catastrophe, y'all. It is a straight up TC tangled catastrophe. <gasps> That's real. Ooh. 
this. Oh, I would bet my bottom dollar that's Lucky Brand. It certainly looks like it. Look at that. That's B.A. And the stone. The stone. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's probably a dyed jasper or something. Is it? It is. It is Lucky Brand. They have some really, really amazing designs. All right, now can I free it from its chain cage? Let us see. Oh, that one's not too bad, actually. Okay, cool. We did it! It's a necklace, and it's awesome, and it's beautiful, and it's awesome! Awesome. There's a little gap between the stone and the piece there. That is its only flaw, otherwise it seems nice other than feeling a little disgusting. That is where a little bit of cleansing will do ya. We'll give these bad boys a wipe down. But for now, I'm gonna hang it behind me. But look at that, and look at that chain. That chain is marvelous. And there's your Lucky Brand logo. And it is marked on either end with a little four-leaf clover. Very, very cool. Toggle clasp. Awesome sauce. One last look at that back. Very cool. Okay. Up it goes. Everything's for sale, y'all. You see something you like. Leave a comment and we shall discuss. Everything's for sale, unless I say it's not. Which is entirely possible. Alright, you. Come on. Come on, how light. Let's get out of there. Ooh. That is a... Is it real? It looks a little too saturated in color. That is so cute, though. I like that. Oh, I was going to say, hey, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. No, that definitely already happened. I'm like a month behind. What did you guys do for St. Patrick's Day? Tell me in the comments. We had green pancakes. That was our big thing. This looks like another lucky brand. Kind of. Kind of, sort of, not really. Or Brighton. Brighton! <gasps> Brighton! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! And if anybody wants to know what I paid for this lot, I can't even tell you. I don't remember. It was so long ago. It was so long ago. Look at the Brighton. <gasps> Brighton. Brighton. Okay. Oh, and there's... Wait, is that the bee? No, it's not. Oh, there's the bee. Brighton bee. Sparkly. Look at this. This is super cute. We've got some perhaps abalone down there. All the crystals are there. Yes, yes. It's so stunning. That is really, that like feels quality. You know what I'm saying? And FYI, apparently, what I've learned about Brighton from people's comments and watching other channels. Actually, you know what, let me do, I'm gonna try to get my still frame here for the video. Brighton, Brighton, maybe. Okay, anyway, um, apparently Brighton silver plates their stuff. And, and they do like a really awesome job at it. So a lot of people will test their Brighton for silver purity. Ugh. No, 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 no. What is this? And it tests positive, but it's not. It's just really thick silver plating. From what I've read and what I've heard from people more in the know. And my own research is that Brighton does make silver. But they do silver plate. All right, it's free. Wait, are these even, are these fake? No. Are these fake magnesite? No, they're not, okay. They do that sometimes. It drives me nuts because magnesite is really not that expensive of a material. That's why they use it a lot for turquoise because it's cheaper than turquoise. And when they make acrylic versions of it, I'm just like, why? Why wouldn't you just use the, the real deal? All right, I can't find where the clasp is on this thing. Does it have clasp? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, I thought so. Ooh. All right, our little crystal beaded guys. Okay, those ones are all there. Let's check the other side. Be there, be there. They're all there. They're 
all there. And we have four. Ooh, this one is nice and long. Four strands, four chains. I guess I can't call them strands per se. Okay, well, they're a little, it probably works. Okay, graduated. These I can't tell with my hands because they're really small, but they look like amber colored glass beads and then the dyed magnesite. Really, really pretty. Uh, ooh, what are you? Ooh, okay, we'll get to that. This is awesome though. That is a stunning piece. Dang. Dang, that's three bangers in this lot so far. I like it. Is this another? No. Everything is Lucky Brand. I just saw this kind of design here on the back and thought maybe. It is not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> I totally lied. Uh, it's another Lucky Brand. At least I do believe that's what that indicates. Somebody confirm. Is that what that is on the clasp? I might have to look it up, but see the clover on the clasp. I think that might be another lucky brand. Does it say anywhere? There's another clover. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Hilarious. I guess I can spot them better than I realized. But I don't see a name on it anywhere. Ooh, there's some peacock pearls. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Or possibly aubergine, I don't know. I think they look more peacock to me. Oh, I really like this one. And here's another little natural stone down here. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know what that stone is. I feel like it looks familiar though. It might be. It doesn't look like the right color blue for lapis. Okay, just testing it, making sure. This is cute though. And all the little rhinestones are there in the cross. Nice. This bale, it has a leather bale. I don't know how I feel about that. This is interesting to me. That it goes from chain to like a string, like a thicker string, and then it ties to a leather bale and then it's back on the necklace. I mean, it's held up, so obviously it's effective. I just don't know how I personally feel about that. But this charm down here and the stone and the cross and this other little charm i love that that is beautiful i think that is a really really lovely piece love it love it love it i'm just looking over this stone again it's it almost looks like like a dark demurderite maybe it is i don't know whatever it's blue <laughs> it's blue need i say more all right, cool, four bangers. You know what, you know what? I think that's enough uh, footage for one video. I feel like I've recorded this one for a minute, so I'm gonna stop it here and restart on another video, which will upload later. So hit that notification bell and uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you wanna know what else lies within, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comment below. Oh, spoiler alert. There's another Brighton. So join me for the next video. All right, y'all. See you next time. Bye-bye.